Today we'll show you homes for sale in Welland Park, Florida. And we're gonna give you an idea of like, you know, the different prices and kind of what to expect. And let's go. So by the way, we do have another channel where we do actual home tours throughout this area of Florida. We'll link you to that at the end. It'll pop up on the screen in case I forget to remember to say it. It will be at the end of the video popping up on the screen. Should we do this one? Sure, it's that a villa? Looks like a villa. We'll find out. Yeah, it's a two bed, two bath, 449. Thousand is listed at. Do you think that's a fair price? Four forty nine for a villa in Wallen Park. Yeah, it's about what they're selling for. So let's take a look at these pictures of the inside. No pool, but it's an extended lanai. It's a big lanai for a villa. It's extra extended. Almost looks like yeah. it's huge. Oh wow! And there's a um, water view. I don't know if that's the, like. Oh, that's got to be like uh, in the community. Which community is this? Let's find that out. Actually, first of all, so it's an island walk, which is. Probably one of the more desirable communities, I'd say. Well, there's a lot of yeah. communities in Welland Park are very desirable. Yeah, they all have different perks Depends to them. what you're looking for. The, yeah, they have the two resort style pools. They've got, you know, a dog park, bocce ball. There's a ton in Island Walk. The trails are amazing with the little bridges. They have a library, they have a fitness center. Yeah, a whole bunch more that we're not even thinking of off the top of our heads. But yeah, it's, it's a great community. So yeah, you are right. It is a villa. You can see the other garage right next to it. And at a 2-2, you almost kind of have to assume it is. Yeah. If you want sort of like a home type feel, but you don't want to pay for an entire home, or maybe you just want something smaller, you, if you want a 2-2 in Welland Park, you almost have to do a villa, first of all. But if you want to save some money too, you know, a yeah. villa is a good way to go if you don't want to be, be in a condo. And if you want the community to take care of your lawn too, a lot of times the villas, the, the communities actually mow the lawn and take care of your exterior maintenance. So it's a more relaxed lifestyle as well. I really like the style and like some of the touches of this home. It seems pretty open, but sort of separated, you know, with the yeah, bigger area. Yeah, it's a big villa too. It's 1,600 square feet. Yeah, I think 678, I think it was. Yeah, so it's a pretty good sized villa. Yeah, kitchens. It, does it have a den? Big. It must have a den. Um... Didn't see anything that looked for sure Danish in the pictures yet, but I wouldn't count it out at, yeah. at that square footage for sure. Let's go back to the description actually after this. Just take a look at the rest of these pictures quick and then we can find out for sure if there's a den. Yeah, and then they're showing all the amenities down there, which I mean, there's tons. There's a lot of amenities. Like you don't even have to leave the uh, community. <laughs> yeah, even got a shade over the playground there, like little touches That's like that. Cool. You know, they, they don't cheap out on all, all those, you know, details, which is nice. Also, the bedrooms can be dual master suites, so they probably both have their own bathroom um, or a separate area when guests come. Yep, so. So it has a living room and dining room and a separate family room. So that's where all the square footage is going. Okay. And it also says it's being sold furnished, which, you know, you may or may not want the furniture depending on if you like the style, but that is something that isn't uncommon in Florida, especially like in this area, I'd say, mm -hmm. that a lot of times they will offer to include some of the furniture, sometimes for a fee, sometimes just take it. <laughs> and it's nice if you're moving from a different part of the country because that way you don't have to haul all the furniture and you don't have to worry about buying the furniture. It's all that's ready for you. It's moving ready for whenever you're ready to come down. And also I think worth noting is a lot of times the furniture you have from up north maybe doesn't fit the style down here too. So you'd probably have to get new furniture anyway. And also I think a nice thing to worth, worth noting with the villas in Island Walk is it includes your cable, your Wi-Fi, um, grounds of your maintenance. So things like that are good to know. And the HOA fee is three fifty six. dollars was a it month. Uh, Let's take a look. Can't be very 2000s? old. Late 2000s? Well, late Two, 2000s. 2006. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Is it though? <laughs> so technically early 2000s. Yes. Grand Paradiso. It's one of the oldest communities more established. 869, but it's a four bed, three bath, 2,358 square feet. And that's actually lower than the last two years or so. Homes in Grand Paradiso and Welland Park in general. Big homes like this one were selling for a million, some a little over a million. And this one did have a price cut. It was listed at 895. So that's, you know, pretty significant. I mean, that's 25 ish K. Mm -hmm. Nice pool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Really nice pool. And it seems like the lanai is extended or it might be the photo, but it seems like it is. Yeah. Um, 
It's got a water view. That's that awesome. Nice. And we can say from first-hand experience, we live in front of a retention pond and it's nice yes. just to have the wildlife and things like that. And yes, even the gators, some, there's probably going to be a gator in there. And it's nice to watch them and keep tabs on them and see what they're doing. They usually don't bother you. They stay in the water. Is that a dining room? Oh no, that's the entryway and then the dining room okay, yeah. left. Crown molding. Ceilings are really nice. Yeah. It's a lot of nice little touches in here. You know, all that, all that kind of adds to like justifying that price too. You know, it's not just being in a nice neighborhood and the square footage, there's all that stuff to look at too. Quite a bit of cabinets it looks like, good counters. And yeah, I mean, I feel like the price is pretty justified, especially given, given that it looks like it's got a pretty big, nice pool. Everything in the house doesn't, look like it needs to be touched unless it's just not your style but right yeah it's got kind of that classic style to me that i feel like is really hard for it to ever like become dated that that mediterranean style but yeah in grand paradiso it's uh this is the homes the types of homes you will see more like italian slash spanish styled homes so it fits in very very well with the theme overall and you were definitely right about the pool there's a lot of extra area to the sides of it you can seems see like there might be is that a bathroom go down like there is a door oh that could be that's probably a bathroom yeah and then a little view of the yeah. pond and i'm yeah i was gonna say they're probably gonna show some amenities or other the entrance is gorgeous it in is. Paradis, so yes. i've been through there a lot of times and yeah looks really and nice and they have the resort style pools basketballs tennis courts uh, ping pong fitness center <laughs> the clubhouse little mini library yeah it's a it's a great community lot to offer and pool table yeah i mean sauna, sauna there's so much stuff in here i always forget yeah. about that they have but if you want amenities like grand paradiso is great and there, and it is established community so all your amenities are already built which is really nice yeah and i think it's also nice in the fact that like we wouldn't have been able to do this video maybe five ten years ago there just wasn't a lot of resale options out there some of these communities like island walk and grand paradiso it's been around for a little while there's some options now if you don't maybe want to get new construction mm -hmm. or want to move now and not have to wait for it to be built all right so this one's a looks like it's not built yet if i had to guess it looks like it's oh it's at the renaissance by madame e five hundred and forty thousand dollars price increase <laughs> it's a 3-2, 1,937. I just want to see if this is... House. It is built. I thought maybe it was to be built based on the pictures. Couldn't tell if... It, you know, sometimes they look... Sometimes they don't update them, though. Yeah. They just use the stock photos. It's a really nice kitchen. Mm-hmm. This is interesting too to see like all the all the different communities in Wild Park have their own little theme and style for both the interior, their exterior, the entrance. They all have like some sort of I shouldn't say all, but most of them have like this grand entrance that you yes. drive through. And I think my favorite is Grand Paradiso, though, just the the way the entryway, it just looks, the way the entrance is set up. It looks grand. Yes, it very. Lo <laughs> it looks like you're in some European or Spanish, you yes. know, or um, Italian, yeah, yeah like yeah. castle or something. And the renaissance is a, a really nice community too um sort of similar to grand paradiso in style i'd say they do have some like key westy more like a key west slash farmhouse feel yeah the style of the homes are but uh yeah three two 1937 square feet i mean Compared to the last one, this is significantly less. And actually, for a new construction home in Welland Park, 540000 it's not bad at all. Yeah. So you got to take a grain, of salt, a grain of salt, some of this information. HOA says non-guarantee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's wrong. But I don't remember off the top of my head what... I think uh, it's like in the 200s. But then with a lot of the Welland Park communities, you have to take into account that you have CDD fees, which are typically around 1500 a year. Um, and then there is a master plan community of around 1000 1500 depending on the community again. And then the HO, the actual HOA fee, it's probably around 300 ish. Yeah. And also one thing to consider is, you know, 
there are HOA communities with like less restrictions and less amenities, and then you pay less usually. So, you know, if that's something you're looking for, those, those are out there too. And that's why you would want to get with a good real estate team to help you out. We can help you with that. Call or text at any time. 941-221-1897. We'd love to help you find your dream home. And right here's the link to the other channel where we do actual home tours, including in Venice. And if you want to know more about living in Welland Park, check out this video right here. And to learn more about the area, make sure to subscribe and live, live breezy. breezy.